Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another video. Hope you're having a great day so far and I hope you're interested in the ZX Spectrum demo scene because I have a video fully packed with interesting information of what happened on the ZX Spectrum demo scene in 2021. This was a video that I wanted to do for quite a few months now ever since I did this little activity report for the a disc mag that was coming out in uh, November, December last year. A subliminal ecstasy number five. Uh, I wrote an article summarizing what happened in the demo scene in 2021, 2022, 2023. And I thought it would look pretty cool as a video in a video format as well. So um, I finally found some time to do it, prompted by the fact that Forever Demo Party is about to take place in just a few days. And for me, Forever is one of the bigger ZX Spectrum related uh, demo parties. It always has very interesting ZX Spectrum demos coming out there. There are other ZX Spectrum demo parties, mostly in Russia, but Forever is like the Central European one that is more famous for the new Spectrum uh, demo scene releases. Hope to have time uh, to finish this video before forever and also the video related to 2002 and 2003, 2022 and 2023. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So in uh, January 2021, we had the Halt uh, demo party taking place as usual in Novgorod, Russia, with releases in many different categories, not just targeting their usual ZX Spectrum clones that they have in Russia, but also the Electronica BK and the uh, ZX Advanced, like a different kind of uh, ZX Spectrums. The low-end 256-byte intro competition in particular was packed with releases of very high quality for the different platforms. Uh, the winner was Gleased by BFOX, a renowned uh, Russian Spectrum from demo scener and it won over Superform by Marky Design, a relatively new uh, uh, comer to the ZX Spectrum scene. It was their third ZX Spectrum intro release in 2021. The low-end demo competition was easily won by uh, this uh, space story demo called Void by a group called Invaders. And there were also a lot of ZX Spectrum uh, music and graphics entries released at this demo party. So a lot of ZX Spectrum love uh, happening at the Halt every single year. With uh, COVID-19 outbreaks and lockdowns happening uh, the, across everywhere in the globe, uh, in February 2021, Love Byte was organized as an online event, focusing on size-limited competitions, which was not very hyped uh, in the demo scene back then became a lot larger if you've been following that uh, this event was taking place for the first time uh, was a huge success amongst the niche of demo scene uh, size coding uh, people it became the party with the most uh, with the highest number of executable releases ever submitted to uh, to a demo party to a demo scene event uh, there were a big number of zx spectrum releases 27 overall with famous zx spectrum names uh, releasing things there people like gasman uh, group joker uh, b Fox, Goblinish, Tebow participating in multiple uh, categories. In March 2021, Subliminal Ecstasy number no. 4 was released after 13 years of I hate this. And uh, this article was made purposely to catch up of what happened in the uh, ZX Spectrum demo scene between the different uh, issues of Subliminal Ecstasy. In April 2021, uh, we we uh, we had the we had the online edition of Revision 2021, uh, the largest pure demo scene event in the world. Uh, the big surprise for the ZX Spectrum demo scene uh, in this part in particular was the release of Delightful Attributes by Darklight and Offense, uh, some veteran demo seniors in other 8-bit platforms, that, but they had never released anything on the ZX Spectrum, and it was a very good release. Uh, they released. Uh, a four kilobyte intro in particular. Uh, the release got second place in the competition and it was highly acclaimed by the demo scene, uh, even received a nomination for the Meteorics Awards. In the end of April, Info Guide number 14 by Conscience was released in both Russian and English. Uh, so uh, check that out if you like disc mags about the uh, ZX Spectrum demo scene. In May 2021, at Outline Demo Party in Holland, uh, there were four ZX Spectrum releases overall, with highlight to the winner of the old school 128-byte uh, intro competition Blueprint by Market Design. Uh, July is a typically extra busy month for the demo scene, although in 2021 it was a bit less lively because of the pandemic. Uh, Lost uh, demo party took place in Poland, a country with quite a big active uh, ZX Spectrum uh, demo scene and community. We had a total of 19 ZX Spectrum releases uh, at Lost uh, among graphics, music and intros. A highlight to Wi-Fi, the video RAM filler by Busysoft, uh, which not only won the Lost party ZX Spectrum, 
256 byte intro competition, but was also nominated for the Nano Awards on the pre on the following year. Still in July, the Out of Compo 2021 took place in Moscow following an, uh, an adult-themed entries and had over 30 entries of uh, different uh, loot entries, uh, loot graphics. Uh, in August 2021, there was Xenium uh, taking place also in Poland again and Chaos Constructions taking place in um, St. Petersburg in Russia. Both of them had some ZX Spectrum releases, but Chaos Constructions had uh, more uh, specky, dedicated uh, competitions. I also saw the release of Devolver by Stardust, uh, which was one of the best ZX Spectrum demos of 2021. September 16, 2021 became known as the day that C Clive Sinclair was declared deceased. Uh, there were a few tribute releases and events in his honor that came out uh, during this uh, month. The next event worth mentioning was Demodulation, a party happening in Moscow, Russia in late November 2021. Had a lot of uh, graphics, entries, music entries and demos also released. Highlights specific to the winner of the old school pixel art graphics competition, Grungy, with his uh, entry MSX Knight and also uh, for CSI uh, winning the old school demo with an Electronica BK uh, demo, which was also quite good. At the same time in Hungary, at the Experience Demo Party, a new ZX Spectrum demo senior named Kashi would uh, start his series of ZX Spectrum releases uh, with this Celtic piano. Uh, you can see the, the entry here. In December 2021, it took place in Poland, the winter edition of Silly Venture, which is typically more focused on the Atari scene, but this year also had a competition of ZX Spectrum uh, categories, counting with Strong Presence by Joker, the Polish group, uh, on the intro competition, and the demo competition being won by a demo titled uh, Possible by Acid Maker and Jakub Usak and Scorpio. Still in December of uh, 2021, the Vintage Computing Christmas Challenge also took place online and ended up featuring a bunch of uh, ZX Spectrum Christmas trees, which are also worth checking out if you like size coding challenges. So these were the highlights of 2021. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye, everybody. Have a great day.